thanks for this unusual invitation. I'm honored and I look forward to playing the role of Daniel in the lion's den in front of 45,000 of your closest friends and greatest admirers. You can bring your own crowd next year. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know you have me asking the last question in the group though. Warren, it said that size matters. It does. <laughs> in the past, Berkshire's purchased cheap or wholesale. For example, Geico, Mid-American, your initial purchase of Coca-Cola. And arguably, your company has shifted to becoming a buyer of pricier and more mature businesses. Is Berkshire morphing into a stock that has become to resemble an index fund? There's no question that we cannot do as well as uh, we did in the past, and size is a factor. Actually, the, uh, it depends on the nature of markets, too. Uh, we might, uh, there will be times when we'll run into bad markets, and sometimes there our size can even be an advantage. Uh, it, it may well have been in, in 2008. Uh, but there, uh, I, would, I would take exception uh, to the fact that we paid fancier prices in some cases than, say, in Geico, I think we paid 20 times earnings and a, and a fairly size, good size multiple of book value. Uh, so we have paid up, partly at Charlie's urging, we've paid up for good businesses uh, more than we would have 30 or 40 years ago. But it's tougher as we get bigger, and, and we've always known that would be the case. Uh, but even with some diminution, uh, uh, from returns of the past, they still can be satisfactory. And, and uh, we, we are willing, we, there's, there's companies we should have bought 30 or 40 years ago that looked higher priced then, but we now realize that paying up for an extraordinary business is, uh, is not a mistake. Uh, Charlie, what was you saying? Well, we've said over and over again to this group that we can't do as well in percentage terms per annum in the future as we did in our early days. But I think I can make the short seller's argument even better than he did. It, and I'll try and do that. If you look at the, all the companies that got really big in the past history of the world, the record is not all that good. If you stop to think about it, Rockefeller Standard Oil is practically the only one that, after it got monstrous, continued to do monstrously well. So when we think we're going to do pretty well in spite of getting very big, we're telling you we, we think we'll do a little better than the giants of the past. We think we've got a better system. We don't have a better system than writing up oil, you know, but but we have a better system than most other people. Yeah, in terms of the acquisitions we've made in the last five years, I think, I think we feel pretty good about those and uh, overall, in, in, obviously including the Heinz. We are buying some very good businesses. We actually, as we pointed out, we own eight different businesses that would each be on the Fortune 500 list if it was a separate company and then few months we'll own half of another one, so we'll have eight and a half in, in effect. Well, you haven't convinced me yet to sell the stock, Doug, but keep working. Uh